In Ruth chapter 3, there are many great lessons we can learn about hope and love and mentoring, but there's one thing that I want to focus on today, and that is preparation. In chapter 3, we get a great picture of how we need to prepare in our hearts, minds, and in our actions when we're seeking the Lord. We saw in chapter 1 how Ruth went out in faith with her mother-in-law Naomi to Bethlehem, and we see Ruth set out in chapter 2 to gather scraps of grain left behind by harvesters, and how Boaz rewards her for her hard work, and we see his commitment to her as he takes her under his wing. But then in chapter 3, Naomi has a greater vision for Ruth. She could see something better for Ruth than just being a worker in Boaz's field. She could see Ruth fully redeemed, loved, and honored as a wife. And this is where we see this beautiful picture of how we too should prepare ourselves when we're seeking the Lord. Ruth is told in verse 3 of chapter 3, Now do as I tell you. Take a bath and put on perfume and dress in your nicest clothes. Then go to the threshing floor, but don't let Boaz see you until he has finished eating and drinking. These three instructions or three tips on how to prepare for her encounter with Boaz are no different than how we should prepare when we are seeking an encounter with God. We need to first wash ourselves by the water of the word, as Ephesians 5.26 tells us. It means examining ourselves by the word and allowing it to govern our attitudes, motives, and desires. In times of testing, the word of God is a light into our path and gives us hope to persevere. The second is anointing ourselves, which is the enabling of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 5.18 tells us to be filled or controlled by the Holy Spirit. And this is vital in times of refining when our natural reaction is to be anything but controlled. And third, put on your best clothes, which speaks of a righteous life. Revelation 19.8 says, she has been given the finest of pure white linen to wear. For the fine linen represents the good deeds of God's holy people. This is only possible when we get the first two tasks in place. When we prepare in this way, before we lay at God's feet and seek his will for our lives, we too will need God's love and caring and guidance in our lives, just as Ruth saw through the compassion of Boaz.